I'm an urban designer and I've done my masters from Columbia University. Uh, we have been practicing here at Creative Group Delhi for the last 50 years. We have done more than 15 airports across the country. We have done design of more than 20 intermodal hubs, railway station. We have done quite a lot of work in transportation architecture and we are also doing a lot of universities, industrial, housing, retail. But our main focus is sustainability, how we can make architecture more uh, economical, user-friendly at this point of time. We are doing A to Z in terms of aviation and we are making sure that uh, we produce less and uh, maybe less is more is something that we are trying to do and sustainability looking at the sun and the wind are core in terms of our architecture practice. Karsaharpur was a very very interesting and a very challenging project for us and we had to design this huge building of more than 30,000 square meters in a record time of four months and the challenge was to create architecture which looks beyond India and we had to uh, bring Pakistan and India together. So we were looking at a building which can be iconic, has an architecture language of its own and which would also represent our local culture of Punjab and India at large. So the basic intent of the project was to create an iconic building inspired by a pure form of khanda to represent uh, the philosophy of uh, Guru Nanak and we also created artwork to further uh, in living the building with the architecture which portrays the philosophy of Sikh architecture. Uh, it was very important that how can you build a project of this iconic nature in four months time from design for tendering following all the government norms and then to construct this project in such a short amount of time was very very uh, difficult challenge and uh, even our Prime Minister congratulated us to have completed this project in this short amount of time. So it was a real privilege to be associated with a project of such magnitude and a project where how the culture and heritage of our country can be expressed in a building and how we can create a transit point between India and Pakistan so that the culture and the aspirations of the people are represented through a building and through the volumetric compositions, through the sculptures, through the artwork and that too in a record time. And I think by doing this project we were able to realize that nothing is impossible. We wanted to create architecture which has uh, column free spaces so that a lot of uh, immigration of almost 5000 people can happen in one hour's time because in the morning the pilgrims have to go towards Pakistan and in the evening they have to come back. So with that all in mind we created a structure which is in steel and at the same time we chose a roof structure which is malleable and which can be constructed uh, seamlessly. We have seen that in the past, similar firms have done very good job in aluminium roofing system. I think the USP was that uh, the vendor, the architect and the contractor all came together. How we can create iconic structures which have their own challenges. In the end, the product that we got was very close to what we had imagined. So I think it was a very great relationship where the vendors and our manufacturing team was able to understand that what was envisioned and they were able to realize that to absolutely 100% accuracy.